One of the reasons why people have at-home uh, diagnostics is because of the rapid growth, both in technology, uh, which is in a large part due to the boom in the electronics industry, but also because of the growth in genetics and genomics uh, information and data. So right now in healthcare, uh, there are kind of two paths which are being taken. So there's the at-home diagnostics, uh, where the consumer is really doing all of their tests in healthcare, but then there's also uh, the approach to healthcare where you have rapid diagnostics which the physician can perform. And the key kind of, I think, transition point that needs to be discussed is if you have someone at home who's doing their own diagnostics, which is wonderful, and then they get a result, how do they interpret that result? Right, it's one thing if you find out you're at home, you're sick, you have strep throat. Right, that's pretty easy to interpret, right? But if you're at home and you're doing your own cancer test, right, and you find out you have breast cancer, what do you do with that information? That is something you shouldn't find out by yourself. That is something you should find out with a physician sitting next to you. And obviously those two scenarios are pretty easy to tell apart, right? But there's, there's gray areas in there. So this new area uh, where science and uh, clinicians and lawmakers need to come together to work collaboratively in order to advance the field.